my name is AJ Pruitt and I'm the author of the Anathalian series. I'm also a self-published author and I do my own interior formatting. And interior formatting is what this video and this series of videos will be about. Um, so I'm going to walk you through all the steps of interior formatting from, I use one of my own books and I took videos from the steps of just having the text and not even having the text in the right font that I wanted all the way up until publishing. So every single step, each video will be a different step. So I'll go in depth into each step, um, as much in depth as you can. Some will be very short, like changing the font type, um, and some will be a lot more in depth, like putting pictures into your manuscript. So if you have any questions about interior formatting, watch this video, watch this series of videos. Also, I have a longer video that talks about many aspects of formatting and it puts it all in one video. So I will link that video below. Um, this video will be in a playlist once I get more than one video. This video and series will be in a playlist, but I will also link that long video below. So if you, um, so if this is one of the earlier videos and you don't find what you want yet, you can find what you want in that longer video. And you can always ask questions in the comments, of course, and I'll let you know if it's coming or I'll answer your question right now. So I want to do this video because interior formatting, you can pay for a service, um, but that can get really costly. And so I want to help you as, you know, I'm an independent author and I found this way to do it and I want to share my knowledge with other people. I've done about nine books so far from children's books with lots of pictures to poem books with special formatting to my own fantasy series that has um, chapter pictures and just looks clean and professional in the formatting. Um, I just want to share it with you and so I am not a professional but I have a, quite a lot of knowledge because I've done quite a few different kinds of books and I want to share it with you so that you can do your own interior formatting if you choose to do that because it takes a lot of patience and it can be difficult to learn the process but after doing so many books I've learned some tips and tricks and just how to do it and it not have to be a headache and I want to share that with you. So I don't want to make these videos too long, I want to make them shorter. And so, again, if you have any questions, please do ask them in the comments. If I don't mention something, ask it in the comments. And um, let's go ahead and get to the video that we're going to do. In this video, I'm going to format the body text. So in this document, nothing, no formatting has been applied to the document. I just typed in a blank document and it came out as it came out, as the um, Word document formats it. So we're going to first select all the text. So you press control A, I've selected all the text. I'm um, going to remember this will format, if you do this, this will format anything you put in as chapter headers or extra things like that. So if you do this after you do your chapter headers, it's going to undo the formatting for that. So I'm doing this first without any other formatting applied. All right. <clears throat> so I'm on the home tab up here and I'm going to go to the font type. I'm going to choose Times New Roman. That's a good font. Everybody can read well. Um, I'm going to go to the font size. The standard for a book is 9 to 12 point font. We are going to use 12 point font for this book. It is um, a children's chapter book and so we want the font on the bigger size for the children. Um, so next we're going to do line spacing. You do not ever, ever want to do two-point spacing for a book. Um, for your school documents, yes, but never for a book. You either want to do one-point spacing, line spacing, or 1.15. I like 1.15. It gives a little more space for the eye to rest. Um, and now one more thing. We're going to go to the Layout tab. I click the Layout tab. And before and after the spacing you want to make sure is zero um, for everything and often word as you saw word will put in that extra space after every single paragraph so you want to make sure when you unclick it it will show you everything zero everything is zero point font um, and that again was the spacing after before and after the paragraph you want to make sure those are zero when you're doing a book so that is how to format your body text you will also need to at the beginning of each paragraph either you're gonna you're gonna set a tab or you're gonna use the tab button to indent every paragraph um, I'm going to indent it with the tab button that's what I do some people say that it's better to go up here and set your tab 
So you can click on this little arrow and you can move it to where you want it so it's not so far in. Um, either way is fine. Just be consistent throughout your own manuscript. That's the most important thing. So that is how to format your body text. Alright, next I'm going to go and do justify my text. Justify, it lines up on the left, it lines up on the right. Remember, this is part of a series. Please check the playlist to see if you need any other help with any other aspect of formatting. And there's that longer video that you can look at that will be in the description below. Always ask questions if you want to ask questions. This is a difficult process to do your own interior formatting. So please ask questions. Let's help each other. Um, please comment this comment. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video and this playlist with others so they can find it too and have help too. And thank you very much for watching. Bye. If you want to know more about Anna Thalian or H.A. Pruitt, please follow me on Instagram at H.A. Pruitt. You can find me on Amazon as an Amazon author, H.A. Pruitt. Please watch my YouTube channel and all my cool videos on my channel, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can find me on the Facebook page, H.A. Pruitt Anna Thalian. You can follow me on Goodreads by the name H.A. Pruitt and the book Anna Thalian. Or you can go to my website where so much cool stuff about Anna Thalian is. The website is H.A. Pruitt.com.